well, I suppose at first notice it waking up a lot during the night going to the loo. And when you get to the loo, nothing happening. Um, went to the doctor and they they check up, uh, give you a blood test and check for PSA. Um, it's a symptom that can lead to cancer. I went to the hospital, saw the consultant, and they decided to do a, a biopsy. This was about two years ago, I think, and I was given the all clear. But I've still been having twice yearly blood tests, PSA readings. And in April this year, it went above the limit where Wiley said, come back and see me. So I went back. They decided to do another biopsy, and this one revealed a small amount of cancer. Because they're fairly sure it was localised just to the prostate, they decided, and I decided, it was best to have it out. And that's what we had. I'd obviously been thinking about it, been looking on the internet, and I'd heard about this uh, a robot, a Da Vinci robot. Didn't realise that Reading had it. Um, it was only when I came in and we talked through the options um, that I found that they had it, and um, it was fairly new. I was intrigued, and I did some more research and found out that the, the doctors here are quite well known in the business. So um, I, I was, wasn't worried about it at all. You know, it's, I had to have it done. I'm told that the recovery is much quicker and the amount of blood loss is much, much, much less. In fact, very, very little at all. But uh, I think I had five cuts. One, one of which is a, a camera, which is a very large magnified camera. I remember waking up about quarter past one last night. I was fine, um, drowsy, but fine. And as soon as I got back to the ward, I started drinking. Um, physio came along, got me out of bed, sitting in this chair. It's very tender, I mean, no pain whatsoever. I'd love to see this machine on. It's, it's operated on, on, on me, but I'm probably the only one that's not seen it. But, but it's nice knowing that it's there. Uh